Uh, what is the state, as things stand, of these global supply chains? Why are there still problems? It's been a long time since the pandemic started. How have the shipping companies not been able to meet this demand? Right. It remains a real mess. We saw uh, a lot of congestion earlier this year uh, at, at various ports and, 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 and uh, trying to feed into economies in the U.S. and in Europe. And we're seeing it flare up yet again. The latest count outside the port of Los Angeles has 61 ships waiting to, uh, waiting to enter uh, the terminals there. That's 61 container ships full with you know, tens of thousands of, 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 of goods trying to get into the U.S. What we're seeing are companies uh, placing a lot of panic orders, trying to build inventories before the holidays, and, and consumer demand uh, continues to be strong. Uh, we're seeing that in the numbers uh, coming in ju uh, just this week. And Brendan, good morning. How are companies navigating these difficulties? I mean, some of them are just, just having to live with it, I suppose. If, you're, if your goods are stuck on one of those 61 uh, uh, container ships, that, is there much you can do? Well, one of the, the logistics managers who I spoke to said it's just a constant negotiation trying to get these containers uh, to move their goods from Asia or Mexico or wherever they might be shipping from. So they're, they're, they're responding by, uh, you know, paying a lot of money uh, to, for transportation. And, and, you know, if they can get it at all, there's just no capacity uh, to, move, to move goods around the world right now, no extra capacity. It's all, it's all being used up. Ships are full and, and ports cannot handle uh, the volume that they're seeing.